I wanted to, to do a little comparison here, and I and and. and the last two hip records I thought have been as, as, as wonderful as anything you've done from an enjoyment standpoint. And, and I, I look at the band and the arc of their career and I compare it to Pearl Jam. And I also like to look at this record you're making now with Eddie Vedder's solo records. And these are wonderful mid, mid to second part of career records that both bands are making. But I, I really think the hip have, uh, the last two records uh, found their stride, be it the producer or, or be it the way you guys are. And I think that's flooded into your record. There's an openness and, a, and an openness to ideas that run through all three records. Yeah, well, I think it's also that timely uh, uh, relationship with Bob Rock and then, in this case, Chris Walla and two guys that have, whose friendship has changed my life and uh, taught me a lot about what a record should be, but more importantly, how a record should feel making it and how much that counts. Because uh, when people say, again, you know, you look good and, you know, uh, and or yes. I, if someone says, I feel good, and you say it shows, and it, sh it shows when you feel good. And You know what? If, uh, on this record, there's like, let's say, remember when your mom used to take you to Sears when you were a kid to buy back-to-school clothes? And, that's, and that sort of shame that you felt before the dressing room door opened and you came out and there's just nothing good could be? There's, there's, there's that feeling, and then there's the other feeling when you listen to something where you're bursting out and you're, you, know, you, know, you know that you look good, as you say. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I think on, on, on this record, there, there's a strength and a, and, a, and, a, and a confidence, and I wouldn't go as far as to call it a swagger, but there, there's certainly, when, when there's songs that we're going to play a little later, like the Hard Canadian and such, where I have no doubt who I'm listening to, and I'm comfortable listening to the guy who wrote those songs that I loved 15 years ago, and the guy who wrote the songs five years ago, and the guy who's writing this song, and I don't care what the backdrop is, I'm just listening and enjoying the music of the guy. Oh, well, thanks. I mean, it, um, I mean coming from you, uh, it means a lot. I appreciate that, because uh, I know you take a lot of care and consideration in, you know, when you're listening to things, um, so thank you. Um, and that's where the Eddie Vedder thing comes in now. I've sort of like, I don't care if he's the Pearl Jam guy, the end of the wild guy, or whoever. I'm just digging Eddie Vedder, and, and I think people yeah. who, might, who, might, who might not have understood maybe what, what you want to do with your solo mm -hmm. records, they're just a fan of yours, uh, like pick up this edition because they'll enjoy it. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I'm a student of the game and uh, learning on the job, and I guess it stands to reason after 20 years you'd start figuring a few things out, and I'm just glad that you and others are patient enough to, to hang in there. 